Hey, hey, this is Julian and you are on Eat The Blocks and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can leverage the forking feature of Ganache CLI to easily test your smart contract. So the forking feature is a little bit of a special feature of Ganache. Not many people know it, but it's actually very, very convenient. And what it allows you to do is to fork any blockchain, including mainnet. So you can basically copy the state of the existing mainnet blockchain and use it for testing your smart contract. So with this, if you use some existing project, you don't need to redeploy them. You can just fork the existing mainnet blockchain and you'll be able to run your test in the same exact condition as mainnet. So I'm gonna do a demonstration by forking mainnet and interacting with the DAI stable coins. So first we need to create an account on Infra. Infra is a public Ethereum node provider and what it allows you to do is to interact with the mainnet network without running your own Ethereum nodes. So it exposes an API that you can use after you create an account. So after you've created an account inside your dashboard, you'll see this. You're gonna click on create new project. So me, I've already used up all my free projects so I can't do it anymore. But once you've created your project, then you will see appearing here in the list. So you click on view project. So you'll see a couple of information about your project. And if you scroll down in the keys section, what is important is endpoint. So endpoint gives you an URL that you can use in order to interact with mainnet. So you can select different network, but we're gonna select mainnet. And you're gonna copy this URL because we're gonna need it when we start Ganache CLI. Then we'll go to our terminal where here I've subdivided in different areas because we'll need them. So first we're going to start the Ganache CLI with a special option to fork an existing blockchain. And then we'll type the URL to our infra endpoint. So HTTPS. So you need to type this manually because this is not in the thing that we copied just before and colon slash slash and then you paste what we have from infra dashboard. So next we're going to add an option to impersonate an existing account. So I told you that for the example we're going to use the DAI stablecoin. So I want to find an Ethereum address that has some DAI so that we can use their DAI. So just to be clear, we're not going to do anything with the actual DAI on the mainnet. Everything we're going to do is only on our computer, on our local fork. That's it. So we're going to go to explorer.io. That's a website where you can explore data of ERC20 token on Ethereum. So we're going to search for DAI stable coin. So here, let's pick a DAI and it's gonna show us some relevant info. So here we have the address of DAI, and if we scroll down, we have all the stuff. We're gonna click on the holders tab here, and it's gonna show us the bigger holders of DAI. So we can select any of these address. So for example, uh, that one. So we're gonna copy it and then back to our console and we're going to unlock this address with the U flag. So this way we can send transaction on behalf of this address without knowing the private key. All right, let's press enter. And that's it. We have fork mainnet. It didn't take any time to fork mainnet, but the actual data on the mainnet Ethereum blockchain is actually very large. We're talking of several hundred of gigabytes of data. So where Ganache CLI is really smart is we don't actually need to download the entire data of mainnet in order to fork it. What's gonna happen is Ganache CLI is only going to download the minimum amount of data it requires every time we send a transaction. So there is virtually no cost in forking mainnet this way. All right, so we are all set up and now we can start interacting with our DAI smart contract on our local fork. So I'm gonna go to another terminal and I've actually prepared a short script to interact with the DAI coin. So let's see what we have here. So first I import Web3, then 
I imported the ABI of DAI. So the ABI is a JSON file that describes the interface of the smart contract. And you can easily get it by going to Etherscan, the blockchain explorer for Ethereum. So in the search bar here, you just type DAI, then you select DAI stable coin, then you click on the contract address here, you scroll down, and you click on contract and you keep scrolling down and here you will see the contract ABI and you can click here to copy it to your clipboard. So next we're going to transfer some DAI token from the address that we've unlocked in our fork to another address. So I define a recipient address so you can choose any Ethereum address here, doesn't really matter. I use this website to generate a random address. Then we're going to paste the unlock address. So let's go back to Explorer and let's copy this again. And finally, we need the address of DAI on mainnet. So let's go to Etherscan when we're searching for the DAI token. And here we have the address. So let's copy this to the clipboard and let's paste this. Okay. So we define our three addresses, recipient, the unlock addresses, and an address of the DAI contract. Then we instantiate Web3. Then we create a pointer to the DAI smart contract on our local fork by using the ABI and the address. And finally, here in the function run, we're going to actually do our ERC20 token transfer. So first we get the token balance for the unlocked account and for the recipient by using the balance of method of the ERC20 token. So we console lock this. Then we're going to transfer some DAI to the recipient and we're going to do this from the unlock address. So we don't have the private key of this address, but it will work because we've unlocked this address with our Ganache CLI instance. And finally, we get the balance of token again so that we can prove that our transfer worked. All right, so let's save our script. And in the terminal below, we're going to run it with node script.js. So we can see that Ganache is receiving some stuff on the left. It has received the transaction. And we can also see the output on the right. So the balance of the unlocked account has decreased by 1000 token and the balance of the recipient has increased at 1000 tokens. So the transfer has worked. Yeah. So every time you want to do some tests as close as possible to mainnet, you can use this technique of forking plus unlocking an account. This feature is also used by some security tools that fork blockchain and try to do some exploit on smart contract. So make sure to use this feature because this is super, super powerful. And by the way, if you want to receive my top five solidity tips, make sure to register for this free email course link in the description. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And in the next video, I'll show you what is my development setup with Tmux, Vim and Ganache CLI. See you next time.